Hey there, I'm Meg and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a Facebook event cover photo. Now a Facebook event cover photo is sized differently than a standard profile or page cover photo. It's a little bit narrower. So if you've already created an event cover photo using the specs of a regular cover photo, I'll show you a little trick on how to automatically resize it, but note that you will need a Canva Pro account in order to do that. Let's get started. So here we are on Canva and the first thing we're going to want to do is create our canvas. So we are going to head on up to create a design here and you're going to type in Facebook event and then you'll click on event cover. And the very first thing I always like to do is rename my design. This makes it super easy to find it later on when you have a whole bunch of Canva designs and you're trying to track down the right one. So the flyout that automatically appears is the templates, which is super convenient. It is excellent to have just a base to work off of. There are so many template options and you can search by holiday, you can search sale, you can search by look, like you can type in minimal and you'll just get a whole bunch of uh, narrow down template options. But as you're going through this, you'll want to make sure that you find templates that do not have a little crown icon and the crown icon looks like this. What that means is if you come upon a template that has the pro icon, you either need to have Canva Pro or you may be able to use it, but it would cost money to download your design. So for example, in the past Canva has charged a dollar for templates. I'm not sure if they still do, but if you do not have a Canva Pro account and you use a pro template, when you go to download your cover photo, it will ask you to pay for it. And you cannot just screenshot. Canva does watermark pro templates if you do not have a pro account. So for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to pick a super simple design. And once you find a template that you like, the next thing you're going to want to do is change everything to adhere to your brand. This is super important. So many Canva users just leave the colors and the fonts the way that they are, which not only does this make your cover photo look like everybody else who used that template, but you're also losing the opportunity to build brand awareness, which is super effective. So brand awareness means that you are consistent with everything that you put out there. All of your online and your print marketing materials use the same colors and fonts, so that gets people to recognize your business. But it also looks really professional. So how you change a template to adhere to your brand is you click on the element that you want to change. In this case, we're going to click on the background and we're going to change that color. So we're going to click the background color here and you can either click the plus and type in your hex code or if you've already entered your brand colors on the Canva brand kit on the back end, you can just select your brand colors from there. So colors are super simple to change. Text is a little bit more labor intensive. So you just change the color. We'll do purple and then you're going to change the font. Now, not all fonts are available on Canva, so you just find the font that most closely matches what you use. And then the cool thing with text is you can resize like this or if you click on, you got to click on the box just right. Oh, um, this is actually awesome that this happened. So a lot of the times with Canva templates, a bunch of elements are grouped. So if you go to move something, the whole shebang moves with it. So how you ungroup is you click on the element that's grouped and there used to be a button somewhere up here that said ungroup. Here we go. Now it's under the ellipsis. So you click ungroup or you can click command shift G on a Mac and it will ungroup all of your elements. So now we can move individual elements. So going back to resizing text, when you click on a box, you can drag the text out like this and then you can also widen your box, your text box like that if you want the text to, uh, if you want to resize the text that way it fits on 
it fills the line. But also if you want the text to go on a second line, that's how you make that happen. And any element, the same thing works, the same resizing. So you can also bold italicize, you can left align, center align. And then before we do the next thing, I do wanna scoot this to the next line and I'll show you why. What I absolutely love about Canva is that you can adjust the spacing. So letter spacing adds space in between the letters and line spacing adds or decreases space between your lines, which is super helpful just to really elevate your design. Just play around and get it exactly how you want it. So that's basically how you update the branding for your graphic elements and your text. The next thing you're going to want to do is change out the photos. If you have your own photos, super easy. Just head down to uploads and then upload your photos and put them in. If you have no idea what photo you want to use, you can browse Canva's stock photo options. You can search for anything really and see what comes up but again you'll want to make sure that you're using free images if you do not have a canva pro account we'll use that one and so what i'm doing is i'm clicking on the photo and i am dragging it in what happens if you just click is the photo just automatically pops in here and then you can kind of resize it but it's just it's a lot more work and you don't quite get it precise. So it's better to click and hold and drag the photo in like I did here. And then once your photo is in place, you can double click and then adjust it. And you can also crop in and out. So I'm gonna reduce, I'm gonna hide that fly out. And now you'll see the circles in the corner. Now I can't shrink this because it's already, it's already at the, the width of the canvas so we can't we cannot go any smaller or else it won't fit in the canvas but we can go bigger and what that does is just zooms in on the little kitty and then you can either click away or there was a done button that you can click so that's pretty cool and then when you have your image selected you can also if you wanted to you can click on crop and that basically brings up where we just were. I usually like to just double click. And then flip is is neat. <laughs> just in case you had, you just wanted the, just in case you wanted to flip it, you can do that. So that is the gist of designing a Facebook event cover photo from a template. If you wanted to design it from scratch, it's pretty simple basically the same principles apply you're just doing a bit more of the layout so let's pretend that that's what we're going to do i just clicked on new page and you can change the background color and then if you want to add photos you just add your photos in but let's say you want your photos to be formatted under elements if we go to frame you can choose diff how you want your photos to look. So if you want three photos, you can have them like this and then resize. If you want to have, I really like this one. If you wanna have a photo that looks like it's on a computer, you can use that. There are so many different kinds of frames, which is pretty cool. And then again, just drag in your photo like normal. If you want to add text, you click on text. I usually like to just click on the little bit of body text and then it's automatically highlighted. You can't really see it because it's in green, but now you can change your font, your size, alignment, spacing, all of that. Another little option that I like is the font combinations. I usually don't look at these because again, always change your fonts to adhere to your brand, but if you scroll down, I really like these layouts because they basically get the sizing right. So then you just change the fonts to what you want and you already have a really nicely designed header, subheader, caption type layout, which is pretty cool. So let's say that you already designed a Facebook event cover photo on Canva, but you use the regular cover photo size 
to make it and it won't fit properly on your event. If you have Canva Pro, it's a super simple fix. All you do is head on up to resize and then you're going to type in Facebook event cover photo. But since we already have this set as a Facebook event cover photo, we're going to click Facebook cover and you can already see that the pixels are a little bit different than what we have. So I like to click copy and resize. If you click resize, then the entire canvas is resized. So let's say that you have your other Facebook cover photos on this canvas, those will be resized as well. So copy and resize creates a new canvas. So everything that you made on this canvas will stay the same size that you made it. And then you'll just have a new canvas with the new size. So now that you have your event cover photo, it is time to add it to Facebook. But first you have to get it off of Canva. Super easy, you're just going to click download here. Make sure you have PNG selected from the dropdown. And then you can just download one of your design. So instead of downloading every single design that you have on your canvas, you can just download the one page. And then you're going to download, rename, and upload to Facebook. So that is how you design a Facebook event cover photo. I hope it helps. If you are new to Canva or would like to brush up on your skills and get even better, check out my online mini course, Create with Canva. We dive into even more detail on how to use all the different features, which will help you create your Facebook event cover photos, as well as any other design that you can think of. I've linked to that down below, and I will see you in the next video.